Just like you guys, every day I wake up and check my hands and legs, also my tail, if they all are on their respective position. But as all they are on their position, so let's begin with these video. You are watching Slime Recap. In the previous episode, Bia Z tells them that about the ambush. There's another demigod presented on the ocean. So Samurai Wolf and others ready to leave to offer their help to Godzilla. By leaving these secret realm in the hand of baby Zilla, they all left. The old demigod use his sword slash attack, while Odin use his shield and spears. But the attack force is too much and easily overpowered Odin. He almost hit on the water surface but managed to fly back. Then use a magical item and formed a depressed-looking face in the midair, he's confident on his attack. The ugly face screams and shoot out X-Men laser ray from his eyes. Surprise the old man, but he managed to dodge it, thanks to his levitating sword. The old man asks, if this is the treasure that he obtained from the secret realm of Ragnarok. Even though this old man was promoted to demigod stage, more than ten years earlier than him, but he's still confident on himself. Then the old man slash out multiple force slash attack. Odin also give his all. While the attack launched previously by those warships were hit on Godzilla as well as on Lee, while the three-headed dragon goes to bite Godzilla's thing. And surprisingly, grab him on the midair. They are trying to hold Godzilla for their next attack. Both the attack, the warships, and of Odin Laser, both of them hit on Godzilla by destroying the Bonnie Dragon. Injure Godzilla fall into the ocean. He curse that Bone Dragon. He's using his immortality to his fullest. The Bone Dragon recover in no time, and this time he goes to attack on Lee. So Lee prepare his swords for counterattack. But the totem leader goes for a sneak attack, and by using his bare spirit attack, he launch a power blow on Lee. Lee hit on Godzilla's back. Godzilla ask him if he still can't continue with this fight? Lee is not going to give up. So Godzilla once again raised confidently. Then suddenly a submarine raised from the ocean. Shocked both Godzilla and Lee, he thought it's their reinforcement. The door open and Samurai Wolf jump out and goes to destroy the artillery on the battleship. He swiftly cut many of the cannons. Lee is surprised that it's Godzilla's army, while Godzilla remember that he had ordered them to guard the secret realm. Ape Girl, Death Bird, and Bai Z came out from the submarine, and also this old man. The trio gets confused about their identity. They thought this is the reinforcement of Huaxia Kingdom. Then on the midair... Death Bird and Ape Girl, also by Z, transform into their monster form, and this looks very crazy. These transformation freaks Odin and other two, these are the monsters of Yuan Island that they all heard about, and they all are such a giant beast. But using her tornado attack, Death Bird easily destroyed multiple battleships, while Bai Z used her divine power and freeze the sea surface, also many super being. Next, the camera shift on Ape Girl. Her presence is enough to scare this human to death. Then she launched her fist blast attack and also destroyed many of them. They all get overpowered by this beast, make them believe that these all beasts were clearly at triple S level, infuriates Odin to make this ugly face. How can we all forgot about jealousy? She launched several missiles and also destroyed many ships, then she transformed back into her mecha form, and this time, she looks more like a ninja to me. They recognize jealousy. The old man will surely going to destroy Hader Temple sooner or later after this. Godzilla questioned Deathbird. He asked them all to wait at secret place. They why they are here. Even Bai Z joined them. Jiyuan Island is their home so it's natural for them to help each other. Deathbird doesn't feel at ease after handling such an important task of protecting her homeland to him, this stupid, ugly Godzilla. Her words makes him furious. Then Godzilla notice on Ape Girl and shouts to warn her to watch out. The three-headed dragon attack on Ape Girl, so Ape Girl counterattack and used her fist blast attack, the force of these attack pushed the Bonnie Dragon backward, where Samurai Wolf is waiting for him, and thus he launched multiple slash attack and cut down the Bone Dragon into hundred of pieces. 
all the bones fall into the ocean, while Samurai Wolf smoothly land on the ship. Godzilla shouts and says him to be careful of that bone dragon. It was summoned by the old man in black robe in the air. Until they defeat these old man, the bone dragon will be resurrect in no time. Samurai Wolf noticed the old man. He jumped at the same time the bone dragon came out from the ocean after his resurrection and easily carried the giant ship on his back. But it's too late, as Samurai Wolf already decided to kill this old man. Samurai Wolf use his master spirit technique and launch his most powerful slash attack. This scared the old man. Surprisingly, this old man managed to dodge Samurai Wolf's attack, although he managed to dodge that attack. But his wand, that is indestructible in nature, was cuted in two part. He became so much furious that he used his most powerful supportive attack and evolve his bonny dragon. These three-headed dragon looks like Ghidorah to me. It starts flying. This scared Godzilla to death. How the hell is this Bonnie gets wings before him? Also, it starts preparing some kind of triple range attack and shoots out his attack on three directions. One at Godzilla, one at Bai Z, and other at Samurai Wolf's direction. The attack landed on Godzilla, dodged by Bai Z, also hit on Samurai Wolf. In Godzilla's side, there's only three of them with flying ability, while they have absolute air superiority. Without wasting any second, the Ghidorah starts preparing another attack. Once again, it launched the attack. Godzilla on his lava form launched his lava breath attack. By Z2 launch counterattack. So as Samurai Wolf decides to use his newly obtained sword skill, a red force slash attack, the triple attack of three triple S level beast versus one single triple S level bone dragon. Naturally, they easily overpowered with their attack and cause a destructive explosion on Bonnie. As the Bonnie will take some time to resurrect again, during that time they will finish this old man. Godzilla put his gravity field on them, while Samurai Wolf launch his red slash attack, so as Bai Z launch his ice spikes attack and Death Bird launch her tornado attack, so as Jealousy launch her missiles. This all four attack hit on old man and his men. All the side characters falls on the ocean, while the old man survives, don't know how. But his wand is completely destroyed. Looks like this is over for Bone Dragon. Now that the staff is destroyed and the Bone Dragon disappears, theirs is nothing more he can do now. The old man furiously ordered the remaining battleships to aim all their cannon at Godzilla and blast it into pieces. All the remaining laser cannons and electromagnetic gun were locked at Godzilla, while a giant hand reached out to the ship and starts destroying them one after another. Just how many ships were left? The old man finally goes to put on some show. He formed his vines hand. Also, Lee actively participate in destroying the ships. The totem man goes to stop Ape Girl by using his combine beast's power. He's confident that he can really defeat Ape Girl. Ape Girl launch a punch, and both of their punch clash with each other, and naturally, Totem Man underestimated Ape Girl, and thus bear the consequences. Even though he used three attack type and one defense type spirit beast, but still he's the only one who received the damage. Ape Girl taunt him. She still didn't get any chance to show even her true power yet, and waiting to have some fun. The Totem Man fly again towards Ape Girl so Ape Girl once again punch him. To win this pure strength duel, he use his rhino and crocodile spirit power. This two beast is his strongest and can easily overpowered Ape Girl. With all his might, Totem Man landed a blow on Ape Girl's chest and slam her on the ocean. At the same time, Ape Girl use her reptile fist attack and grab him tightly. The Totem Man fall in her trap. Ape Girl grins and blast him off. The totem man fly because of the impact, without missing any chance, Ape Girl jump and goes for her finishing blow. At the same time, the totem man kick one of his tribe man on front of Ape Girl. The poor little guy gets grind in his sharp claw. Thus with these we hit on the last chapter, make sure to subscribe and leave a green heart on the comment section.